Hey guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Today I'm going to talk to you about a uh, uh, little thing about using cotton string and where to obtain it and things. Uh, I use a lot of cotton string and char and stuff and I have a lot of students and a lot of people ask me where do you find it. Well, sometimes it is hard to find but I'm going to show you a really simple method that you can use. It makes great stuff for char, uh, for char cloth. Um, I use it a lot in flint and steel because it gives you more fibers and things to use and break down. Also going to talk about the slow match. Uh, Dave Canterbury did a video, I guess it was yesterday, on slow match or day before. Uh, I've been using one of those in my tender kit for a long time. And it actually works really well, especially with flint and steel, because uh, it gives you kind of a little base and something to work with. So stay tuned with me, guys, and uh, we'll get busy on this. Also, i got a big steak cooking up here on the... Uh, on the fire and uh, it's uh, election day 2012 and just kind of kicked back and got the day off and thought I'd shoot some video so stay with me guys okay guys uh, one really good source for cotton string if you're not able to find it anywhere uh, this is just a mop head uh, believe it or not it actually works really well uh, you can just cut these pieces off use what you need. Uh, that's what I have in this slow match. It's just kind of unraveling a little bit. And uh, as you can see, it chars up pretty nice. And I'll show you how that, that goes off in a bit. Uh, but all you're really needing to do to make the slow match and everything is just uh, take a piece of uh, this mop. You need to make sure it's 100% cotton and it usually says it on the package. Just cut the pieces off as you need them. Uh, one good way to tell uh, the cotton in it, pull it and you shouldn't see any other fibers in there besides cotton. Now you'll see the little dark things, little specks and stuff in here. That's usually just like uh, the uh, part of the husk, part of the, uh, the cotton pod itself. But you can see, let's see if I can throw this in a fire. Well, or just set it on fire, I guess. And uh, you can see how it works. It'll be a slow burn. Won't flame up. But you can see this will smolder for a pretty good while, just like it is. You can actually open it up a little bit, kind of untwist it, and it'll work a little better. This will actually burn for a pretty good while to use in a tender bundle or something, um, just as it is. Now you can, I've got a little piece of cotton that I put inside this uh, copper tube and this is just a piece of copper tubing from a uh, 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 project that I did earlier from uh, you know plumbing or something I had it left over and uh, it fits really nice inside my my tender kit this is a slow match it's a really easy way to put it out too is just to pull the tube back on it like so and then uh, as a striker, let me uh, put this to the side for a second, and just as a regular striker, you know, you can take a uh, ferro rod or something and go straight into this. Let's see if I can get it to where you can see it really good. This is a brand new ferro rod, so bear with me. You can see it's already starting to catch up. And that'll smolder for a pretty good while. You just pretty much don't want to don't want to mess with it. You want to just kind of leave it like it is. Let it smolder. If it goes out, just restart it. You can actually pull this back a little bit to hold it to, together. But with so many fibers, it makes it a lot easier to catch sparks and things. You can still see it sparking a little bit there. But uh and then all you got to do to put it out, if you don't need this anymore, you can actually just let it smolder in case you need it for later, but uh, if you need to put it out, you just pull this back down into the tube, like so, and that'll extinguish it. And uh, as you can see, this is still going from, my, uh, from the mop. This is 100% cotton mop. 
sold about anywhere at Walmart. I think I actually got this one at Walmart, and I think it was like three dollars. And that's going to make a ton of string on this, guys. I mean, for charring up and things. And I'll show you how that works. The char works with the flint and steel. And uh, this is my flint and steel. And you can just take a little piece of this char. As you can see, I've got all kinds of char stuff in my uh, tender kit here. Got some uh, uh, charred uh, lamp wick. And this is all charred cotton string right here that's from the, uh, the mop itself. But I'll take a little piece of this. I just charred. Break it off. You can actually put this directly in one of those tubes also, just as it is as a char. And I'll show you how. I'll just take this one out. You can insert this up through. Sorry about the phone there, guys. You just have to kind of twist it in as it goes. Got that one a little short. Let's get a little longer piece here. <clears throat> you can just insert this in. Just kind of twist it as it goes. Makes it go a little quicker. I can hear my steak over here sizzling. Mmm. Can't wait. And as you can see, I just pulled that through like this. Now, as for uh, use with uh, flint and steel, it gives me a little something extra to hold on to. I can find a good base here. I can actually unfurl this out a little bit to give it more striking area, or more area to catch a spark, I should say. And you just take your flint and steel, hold it in. And as you can see, already got some ignition there. And then if I want to extinguish it, I can just pull it back down in the tube and it'll go out. It takes it uh, a minute or two to go out. But this is just an easy way to hold on to it and to uh, uh, utilize it. And it also uh, keeps it protected a little bit inside my case for my... Uh, my fire still set. It's like that. And this is just a Hudson Bay Fire 10. Uh, guys, I have did videos on them before. You can see this is still going. And it's on about, oh, five minutes or so. Maybe a little longer. This whole piece will probably last about 10, 15 minutes. So, you know, I'm not doing anything to this. I'll just let it, let it, let it alone. Leave it laying there for a few minutes. And, uh, yeah. Here's a little bonus, guys. Mmm, steak. Got that puppy cooking up. Getting ready to have that. Ought to be delicious here in a little bit. Well, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Like I say, this is a really easy way to... Uh, Get cotton string if you can't find it anywhere. Uh, I've not tried it with a used mop head. I'm sure it would work. Uh, you may have a few impurities in it or something, so I'm really not sure if you want to use it or not, but or chemicals or stuff. But a brand new one like this is perfectly fine. Um, like I say, it's 100% cotton, and this thing's still going. Hey, guys, and as a little side note, uh, this is just mop. And I actually just let the camera roll for a while to see how long this would go. And uh, about three inches of it, about like this, in 20 minutes. So you figure this is a, a piece that's about oh, six inches long. You're looking at 40 minute burn time. And I just laid it on a rock. I'll show you a little bit of that video, but I'm not going to bore you with like 40 minutes of the string burning. Just wanted to kind of prove the point that this stuff will go for a long time. Guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. I hope to see y'all in the woods. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Uh, please comment, rate. Uh, if you got anything you want to see, let me know. Um, I'm open for ideas, for videos, and I uh, hope to see you guys in the woods.